Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Murray with Life in Calgary, Alberta. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn everything there is about living in Calgary, about what it's like to work, sleep, eat, uh, be entertained, etc., then you're in the right place. You want to make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're notified every time that I release a new video on this channel. And today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Calgary. Now, before I get started, I got to tell you, I love helping people. I get messages, emails, texts, uh, phone calls from people saying they want to move here. They want some help. And that's what I'm here to do. So if uh, you want to get a hold of me, there's the information for me at the bottom of the screen here. I'll put it again at the end of this video. But feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you live your life in Calgary, Alberta. Now, I got to be honest, before you do move here, there are some things you need to know. And there are some pros. And there are some cons to living in Calgary. Now, if you're relocating here, I did the same thing. But way back in 2001, when I was in a different industry, I was in the dental industry and I moved here to start my career. And I did that for a while. And I've left that and I've been in real estate for 14 years now. But uh, at that time, I didn't really know what I was getting into. I knew a little bit about Calgary. But over time, I've learned so much. And especially being in real estate, I totally understand how this city works and where everything's located. So I'm excited to share with you uh, without, um, you know, uh, without holding back whatsoever, all the pros, but I'm going to share my cons about living in this city too. So again, 10 pros, 10 cons. Let's get started right now. So I've got some notes here. My first one is, hey, there is lots of sunshine in Calgary. And that's number one on my list, what I like about living in Calgary. I absolutely love it. So uh, we get a lot of great sunshiny days here, which is terrific. You know, in the winter time, it can get really dreary, of course, we're a wintering nation here in Canada. And uh, that gets kind of kind of dull and sad. I lived in Vancouver. I loved it, but I didn't like the cloud. And, and you get the same thing in Kelowna and that sort of thing. But here we get a lot of sunshine. So it could be a really, really super cold day but we get lots of great sunshine. And so you can be nice and toasty inside, look out and see the sun and be in a great mood. It just uh, changes people, makes people uh, interact a little more positively. Number two on my list, all right, this is really cool, Chinooks in the wintertime. Now, if you don't know what a Chinook is, I'll try to explain it to you here. Um, it's basically these warm winds that are coming over the mountains and the foothills from the west. And uh, then it creates this cloud barrier over the city so you do get this large ridge of cloud it's very cloud it's very pronounced and what that does is it insulates the warm air in the city and keeps it nice and warm now that's my best scientific explanation from my meteorological days okay i'm lying you need to talk to kevin stanfield at ctv for that but it's as best as i can explain all i can tell you is we can have a really cold day and the next day we can get a chinook and oh my gosh, it could be 16 degrees above Celsius. And so that's really warm. And you might even see people, you know, there's snow outside. You might see people walking around in their shorts. It's absolutely crazy, but you will see it. And if you move here, you'll experience it too. Uh, that's number two on my list. Number three is the downtown core has a plus 15 system. Now, what's a plus 15? Well, Plus 15 is a walkway that's 15 feet above street level. So there's all these bridges. I got some notes here. So it's over uh, 18 kilometers long with 62 plus bridges and growing all the time as new buildings and new plus 15, 15s are added. But basically, you could be working downtown. It could be the winter time, and you could have a meeting, say, four or five blocks away. Well, you could just leave your office, leave your jacket there, not have to put on your boots and just walk through the plus 15 system through interconnecting buildings, through little malls and that sort of thing to the building that you need to get to. So that is really, really cool. In fact, there was even a movie made about it a while back about somebody living and surviving in the plus 15 system, which is, is kind of cool. I'm not sure where it is. I can't remember what it's called, but it is out there. And so I really like that about Calgary. And that's really unique. Uh, we have number four on my list. We have the longest urban pathway system in the world. That is so cool. And I absolutely love that. My family and I live in the inner city in Calgary, and we take advantage of it all the time. When my son was younger, it used to be just him and I. And now that my daughter is older, um, you know, she and my wife join us and we go on these big bike rides 
take a few streets, boom, we're on the path system. We're riding along the river. Uh, you know, we're stopping for coffee. We're going in the cool neighborhoods. And uh, it's great for walkers, runners, bikers, roller baiters, rollerbladers, skateboarders, and, uh, you know, uh, on and on. It's just a great activity and a beautiful day. You'll see lots of people out on the path system. You know, it goes by some great landmarks too in Calgary through uh, by the Calgary Zoo and like I said, along the river and through some great communities. So that is the other thing on my list that I really love. Uh, no, man, number five. We are 45 minutes to the mountains from Calgary. In fact, in a lot of our backdrops, you'll see the mountains uh, behind Calgary. And that is so cool because what a great playground to have at our fingertips. So you can uh, drive a little bit further. You, uh, you can drive 45 minutes, boom, you're in a provincial park and you're in the mountains. You can drive a little bit further, um, say roughly an hour, and you're in Canmore, Alberta, which is a great mountain town. You know, add another 20 minutes, you're in Banff. Right. So there's lots of great places. Um, if you enjoy hiking, you know, uh, it's the place for you. If you want to check out these quaint mountain towns and everything they have to offer, that's great, too. Um, lots of activities. Of course, camping in the summertime is absolutely fantastic. And who am I kidding? In the wintertime, there's people that do backcountry camping, too. It's not for me, but it is for a lot of people. But what is for me is the world class skiing that we have in the mountains. So we've got, you know, Sunshine Village, uh, we've got Lake Louise. And then there are other great hills such as Nakiska that was used in the Olympics. And it's a great hill for kids where I take my kids skiing. And, um, you know, there's kicking horse and on and on. So in fact, recently, there was a commercial uh, for some ski resorts in the United States. But the pictures they were using, they were from our Canadian ski resorts here in the Rocky Mountains. So uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. And that's what we have here. We have world class skiing. Number six are all the great festivals and uh, events happening in Calgary throughout the year. So this is really cool because on any given weekend, especially during the summer months, you can walk around and there's some sort of festival, whether it be Caribbean Fest or, um, you know, Latin Festival or something like that. Lots of other great things happening. There's Shakespeare in a park down by Princess Island Park. Uh, there is the Calgary Folk uh, Music Festival, which is absolutely fantastic you see some great upcoming acts and some big names that come and headline those as well and it is a great four-day event i highly recommend it um there's other things like beaker head which is a great festival and and uh other busker sort of things going on in town and um uh, just the other night uh it's it's uh february here we were at something called chinook blast which is down on eighth avenue and uh over by the uh uh, by City Hall and Olympic Plaza, you you know, there's lots of uh, entertainment going on, live music, there's skating, uh, you know, art, that sort of thing. So it was really cool. My kids really enjoyed it. Of course, I got to stay up late. So that was cool for them, too. We've got the world class Calgary Stampede known as the greatest outdoor show on earth. And I got to tell you, it is fantastic. All work in a downtown practically stops as people don their cowboy boots and their cowboy hats entertain clients, go out, be with friends. Uh, my absolute favorite part is going to the rodeo. So uh, the rodeo is my favorite thing to do. Of course, there's the exhibition, there's uh, um, there's rides, there's food, there's musical acts, uh, there's the parade, which is outstanding. And last year they had Kevin Costner was our parade marshal. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I tell you, uh, if you move here, we'll make a cowboy out of you for a good 10 days while the stampede is on. All right. Number seven on my list is Calgary has a great culinary scene. We have some spectacular restaurants, some great uh, chefs in our in our city and some great holes in the wall that just offer uh, great food. They really up the ante on on how food should be presented and how it should taste. And, you know, we've we've uh, had a lot of uh, film industry people here recently. The Last of Us was recently filmed in Calgary and those actors, they were saying how great the food is in Calgary. So that's another great thing. I highly recommend you come check out the culinary scene here. All right. Number eight on my system is we have a good road system. And I'm just going to try attempt a screen share here because I want to show you our road system in Calgary. All right. 
So just one word. Um, I've been here since 2001 and there's, you have to say Calgary properly. It's not Calgary. Like I say it, my wife gives me heck all the time. It's Calgary. It's like you take out that A, C-A-L-G-R-Y, Calgary. Okay, that's how you know uh, somebody is from here. Somebody's been here long enough. Obviously, I haven't been because I still say it improperly. So uh, so this is a map of Calgary here. And uh, I just want to show you. So here's the city here. I'm not sure why it's showing this. Um, up here, we've got Airdrie, popular community, Chestermere. Um, over here, we've got Cochrane. And down here, we have Okotoks. Those are all community sized first. But here's Calgary. And you'll see this big road coming down here following my arrow. This is the QE2, the Queen Elizabeth II Highway. But in Calgary, it's known as the uh, Deerfoot Trail. And it is a great north south connector through the city. Now, there are some other great connectors as well. We've got something called our, our, our ring road, which is called Stony Trail. And you'll see this is this Highway 201 that goes all the way around the city, really makes getting around easy. We've got something called Crowchild Trail, which is another major road that goes north south or kind of northwest there. And that's another good connector. There's McLeod Trail, it's a little more stop and go because it has. Um, uh, lots of lights and that sort of thing. But there's lots of, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. Let's move in a little bit here and we will take a little bit closer look at the city. So just for reference, I'm going to show you the downtown core. This is downtown um, right in this district here. And uh, I, uh, the inner city community is kind of like all along, you know, all along here. Right. And I live in this community here in Renfrew. Absolutely love it. But some other uh, east west connections are there's the Trans Canada Highways one. Uh, it goes through the city. And it's a little more stop and go because there's lots of lights, but it will do the job. It'll get you through the city. Uh, going up here to the north is, uh, let's see here, Stony Trail. The one I like is uh, Country Hills. Goes a good major thoroughfare east to west up there. Um, also, um, just move it in a little bit more. Beddington Trail is another one that I use quite often, which is another good connector east west. And then we'll scroll down here just a little bit just so you can see. Another good east west connector is Glenmore Trail, is another major one going through the city. And then there's some other ones too that I like to utilize Southland Drive. Anderson Road, that sort of thing. So uh, the road system here is really good, really good to get around. Um, stop sharing back to me. All right. Number nine on my list is sports and the arts. Okay. I'm a huge sports fan. And uh, I love that we have the Calgary Flames here from the NHL in Calgary, Calgary, um, because they are absolutely fantastic. And I've seen them uh, numerous times. My kids love to go. So I love that we have professional sports here in the city. Um, we've got the Calgary Stampeders CFL team, which uh, my kids also love to go to, and I love to take them. So I'm a big CFL fan. We've got the Cavalry FC, which is professional soccer here in our city. We have the Calgary Roughnecks, which is uh, professional lacrosse. And of course, we have WHL team, which is uh, Western Hockey League um, with our uh, our Calgary team here as well. And then, uh, you know, there's lots of great arts here in, in town as well. There's lots of great things to see. So uh, museums, etc. But, uh, for example, my wife went to the theater the other night, saw a great play. Here's one for you. Uh, on Friday, we're going to the opera something I've never done before, something I initiated for our family. Um, and it's going to be the revolution of Steve Jobs. So I thought it sounded interesting. I've, I've read about Steve Jobs and of course I use his products. So I uh, thought it would be interesting. Message me uh, by the time this is released, I'll have already seen it. I'll let you know if I like it or not my first time. Of course, there's orchestras, et cetera. So great, uh, great things for sports and the arts in our city. Number 10 on my list is the world class venues that we have here in town so we've got the calgary zoo which is absolutely outstanding you got to come check it out it's a great place for kids and for families and when my kids were younger before they went to school we had a membership 
And when in the warmer climes, well, even in the winter time, in the nice days, we'd be there several times a week. Uh, Studio Bell is the National Music Museum for Calgary, and it's a stunning piece of architecture. I highly recommend it, and they have some great events there as well. There's the Telespark Science Centre, which is a, a very, very cool venue for kids again and for adults alike uh, always got new programs going on there so it's a great place to go uh, of course the calgary tower you know i love going up there and having a nice meal in the revolving restaurant when the lights go down the city you see the beautiful lights and you're just going around the city and you're looking out and you're just enjoying that slow eating uh, at the restaurant there highly recommend it and something else i love to do with my kids is go to the main branch calgary library here in town it is an outstanding piece of architecture, but it's just a great place to go. And of course, it nurtures their uh, their love of reading and mine. All right. So those are my pros. Now let's talk about the cons. And I promise I'm going to be ruthless here. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to let you know everything that I don't like about our city. All right. So I mentioned the Chinooks. I mentioned the sunshine. Well, I have a bit of a love hate with the weather here. So I'm going to talk about the, the weather. You can get four seasons in one day in Calgary. So usually it happens in the, um, you know, in the, in the fall, spring or winter. Uh, who am I kidding? It can happen in the summer too, where we can experience all four seasons in one day. So that's Calgary. We always say, uh, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. You've probably heard that in other places as well, but it's really true here. So uh, that's one thing. Number two that, uh, that bugs me is, you know, oftentimes we'll get a really nice day, but it's windy. We can't have a nice day with some wind. Now, some people that may not like the heat may be like, hey, you know what? We like the wind that kind of keeps the air moving. And that's fine. But you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you want to go for a good bike ride with kids or something and and it's windy and, uh, you know, you can still do it, but holds you back going in that one direction, right? Or pushes you in the other. Um, we get some really hot days, especially in the last few years. We've noticed a change where we've been getting a lot of heat. You know, it's not unusual the last few summers you get some days with, uh, you know, 35 degrees Celsius. You know, it's not the same humid, damp heat as is as is in Toronto, it's drier, but hey man, hot is hot. What That's all I can tell you. You know, a lot of homes in Calgary didn't used to have uh, air conditioning because we'd only get some really hot weather for around two weeks at a time. Well, that's been expanding a little bit and air conditioning is a little more popular to homes now. And we get some really cold days. So, you know, I mean, we're a wintering nation, yes, and and like everywhere else in, in Canada, we get some cold days, but, you know, we can get like minus 30, minus 35, and you tack on the windshield, it can be as cold as minus 45 with the windshield, that sort of thing. So, uh, good news is those generally don't last, might last a week, maybe two at the worst. Um, this winter has been bad, you know, uh, but it can get cold. Number two on my list, okay, we've got these great thoroughfares for getting us to where we need to go, but traffic. Traffic is crazy, okay, especially during rush hour. So those major north-south connectors, for example, uh, Deerfoot Trail, hey, if there's an accident there, it closes down the lanes and then you're merging all that traffic in the one lane. So that can really hold things up and, and that's a bit frustrating for me. I find the traffic is uh, can be frustrating at times, but I'm sure it's like anywhere. And if you come from larger center, then you know what? Our traffic may not be so bad for you. Uh, let's see. Okay, construction is another one. So I say Calgary has two seasons. Uh, one is winter and the other is construct construction season, although it seems like that's moving into um, into winter as well. Now, you know, we've got a lot of developments happening in our city. So in the downtown, you know, they're building new towers and that sort of thing. And part of the streets get closed off. But you know what, even on a weekend, um, you'd be driving around, you'd be going through downtown and there's like four or five lanes and all of a sudden they get squished into one because they get the road closed off and they're doing some construction work. So um, that's a little bit frustrating to me. Construction um, slows you down to where you need to go. Number four is C-train crime. So our light rail system in Calgary through our, our transportation system here is called the Calgary C-train. But the crime on the C train has been getting bad. You know, as my kids get older, I'm sure that they'll be using public transportation. But 
right now, I just don't think I'd let my teenager go on the sea train alone. We just, I, I'm concerned for them. Uh, crime is up on the sea train. I know the city is working to address that. They get more transit officers out there and, and to fight that crime on there. But right now, we've got some crime on the sea train. So that's something to think about. Parking. I've got a few complaints about parking. Um, believe it or not, I'm not sure uh, if this is still true, but at one time, our parking was only um, more expensive, or it was it was only more expensive in Manhattan than it was in Calgary to park your car in the street. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it could cost you uh, anywhere from some some free parking in some places where you go to pay and it says two hours free. Hey, cool, you know, big score, great. And in other areas, it can cost you 10 bucks for an hour. So parking can be expensive. The other thing that bothers me is I live in the inner city. Um, when we moved into our home, parking was free on the street, which is great. Uh, and then they, you know, they got some businesses nearby. And some people were parking on the street to walk to downtown. So they put permit parking in place. But we all got permits for our vehicles, two vehicles and two visitor passes, where if a visitor came, you just plug into the system and have your visitor there up to two weeks if you had a house guest that was visiting. Uh, however, um, now the city is talking about charging for a two-year pass for each vehicle that you park on the street. Now, thankfully, I have a double car garage, but also to pay to have visitor passes should we have visitors. So uh, I'm not sure where that's going. That's coming, they say, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. But that's kind of a pet peeve for me at the parking. Number six on my list is we are a boom and bust town at least we used to be um you know much like a western town you know gas and oil that sort of thing there's a big boom and then things go sour and things things go bust well um you know we've seen that uh, in the past now the good news is calgary is really diversified we have a strong film industry here our tech sector is really strong here as well so that's really helped as well um number seven is we do have the most expensive real estate on the prairies in Canada. Now, I think our, our um, roughly our benchmark price for um, a detached home is around $620,000, which is a far cry from $1.1, $1.2 million in Vancouver or Toronto. But if you're moving from Regina or a smaller center, um, you know, you might find that that's, that's expensive for you. But the good news is, is uh, our real estate is really um, uh, uh, strong right now. Um, you actually have a chance of buying your home, getting a mortgage and actually being able to pay that off and actually own your home at one time. So that's some good news as well. And real estate is uh, is going up and improving all the time. So it's an exciting time to invest in Calgary. Number eight is uh, schools have large class sizes. Now, you know, we're, we're a city that's growing. Um, so this is something else that, that happens. So, you know, along with traffic, that sort of thing, but our schools, our class sizes in our schools are quite large. And not only is that a concern for me as a parent and other parents, but I know there are other teachers and administrations, of course, that are, are frustrated by that as well. Of course, that depends on the government of the day where they're putting their money and that sort of thing. But that's something to think about as well. Um, number nine is I find that right now doctors are moving away from Calgary. Now, again, this has to do with uh, policy with the current government, that sort of thing, uh, related to schools, related to doctors and Medicare, where, you know, where's the government putting their money? Uh, I'm hoping doctors are working that out. You know, I'm glad I have a family doctor, but, um, you know, they're very busy right now, too. So if you're a doctor, you want to move here, come talk to me because I will find you a home because we need more doctors here. And number 10 is the population here is growing quickly, which is causing some growing pains. Now, in my business, not a bad thing. Real estate, right? People moving, they need homes. So that's not a terrible thing at all. And it's exciting because our city is growing because we have so much to offer right now. But it does cause growing pains again the school, the, with the schools, the doctors, the traffic, that sort of thing. But we're figuring it out. All right. So if you're thinking about moving to Calgary, make sure you give me a call because I just need to know a little bit about you, what you like to do. You know, are you an inner city dweller? Do you like to live in the suburbs? Um, you know, what sort of activities do you like to do? Do you like to go to the mountains, that sort of thing? What kind of property are you looking for? And I can help you out. I have people calling, emailing, texting me all the time. And I absolutely love it because I love helping people and families get into great homes. So make sure you reach out. I'm here to help.